Yeah, that's right. OSBI tells us there are human remains. They won't tell us how many, and they weren't even the ones who found them. Me and his sister walk up. She's like, I know my brother's here, Ashley. As soon as I let her go, we both look down, and I got, I mean, there's human remains. I mean, the skull, his pelvis bone. <laughs> This home in Stroud went up in flames last Wednesday. Neighbors filmed the large fire unaware who was inside. Not nothing out of the ordinary for something to be on fire back there. Six days later, human remains were found in the rubble by those living next door. So you found him? Yes, yes. The only thing I could confirm, there were deceased person or persons found in, in the uh, in the scene. This is ridiculous. The house should have been checked that day. This woman who saw the flames from her backyard is certain the remains belong to her cousin Brian, who has been missing since the fire. His car has been parked over there beside on the other side of the fence where the house was and nobody's been in contact with him. He was known to stay there. Family and friends are angry, questioning why authorities didn't search the burning home then or in the days after. Police department did not put up any yellow tape until last night. I'm heartbroken. I feel like this town that I've called home has let me down. When asked about the firefighter's response, OSBI said first responders thought they were in the clear. Fire department, when they responded, they had the uh, understanding that all individuals were out of the house at the time. Now, the state medical examiner's office and the state fire marshal's office are assisting in this investigation. We will follow up with them and bring you the details as those become available.